Is it AJ? Is, is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He um, wasn't feeling well earlier, but it was just a stomach ache, and um, it, it reminded me I needed to pick up his allergy medication, so I'll see you around. Oh, wait, no, no, Marissa, hold on for a second. I, is something else bothering you? <laughs> Why is that funny? Uh, nothing. I just, I, I really just don't even know where I would begin. All right, look, why don't we have a seat, okay? Who knows, maybe I can help. More than you already have? But that's probably impossible, considering the fact that you were the one who gave me all that really great advice about how to hold on to JR. Remember, be more like you, learn to play dirty, manipulate everything and everyone around you. You came to me, sweetheart. Yes, I that just... was my first mistake, only to be followed by about a million more. And now, everything that I ever thought I was, I I, I really don't know if it's true anymore. Okay, why don't you and, tell and me what I happened? And I look in the mirror and I have no idea who's staring back at me. And what's worse is whoever that person is, I don't like her. Marissa, sweetheart, I, you're blaming me for something, no, but I'm, I'm not sure what it I'm is. I'm not blaming you, it's just... Coming to you is a symptom of everything that's wrong in my life. More like you. I got the sense that Zach was tempted to tell David everything, but he didn't, thank God. Well, I was a little surprised to find nothing in that safe. What do you think happened? You think Hayward got spooked and he moved it someplace else? Maybe, I don't know. Well, I'll be out of here by tomorrow. I figure that's the earliest Jake can release me without looking kind of suspicious. And so once I'm out, get back on the case. Ryan, you've done so much already. Hayward is not gonna get away with this. Okay, you should probably get out of here before he knows you're here. You don't have to worry about me telling anybody. Thank you. Okay, so she's gone. You can um, officially let me have it. Okay, I will. I may not like what you're doing. And yeah, I may wish that Greenlee were completely off your radar. But I'd be crazy to ask you to change. This is who you are, Ryan. And it's why I want you in my life. What happened? I think I lost my daughter. Again. Hey. Are you following me? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. You don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. You are freaking out, Marissa. I can tell. You cannot tell JR. You just can't. Scott and I are gonna make this work. We're gonna get married and raise a family and live happily ever after. That's great. I'm still not seeing what you want from me. The plans you found. Hmm. Proving the nanotechnology project isn't Scott's. Burn them. Why? You know why. Those plans are your insurance. If things ever get ugly between the two of you, you're gonna hold them over Scott's head. Well, that sounds pretty smart to no, me. No, it's not. As long as those plans exist, so do the risks that they fall into the wrong hands. And then we're all screwed. Is that really what you want? No. But can we be honest here for a second? You're not pushing that to protect Chandler. You're doing it to cover Scott's ass. So why? Who cares why I'm doing it? You and I both know it's the right thing to do. All right, fine. I'll do it. But I'm not doing it out of respect for Scott. Guy's a liar and a thief in my book. <laughs> And that makes them different from you, Hal? Well, at least I got the stones to admit it. I'm counting on you, Jared. Please. If I ever meant anything to you... You know you do. Okay. I should have told you what was going on. And I'm sorry. But you have to understand, Zach, it's not that I don't trust you. You just don't trust me when it comes to Ryan. Well, can you blame me? You don't always act rationally where Ryan's concerned. And you do. 
Okay, I was afraid that you wouldn't be able to put your feelings aside and do what needed to be done. I was wrong. You're what? I'm sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong. See, there is a first time for everything. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Coming, Binks. Be right there. What happened? It's quiet. It was. You and your family staying long? It's a nice place, Pandani, but it's got its share of ghosts, too. Mm. Madam. Good luck. With what? Getting out. <laughs>